guys okay this week's episode is learning how to make a wig and I know a lot of you ladies out there who wear wigs and you know sometimes they get kind of hot if, let's say if you're gluing the wig and when you go to the club or during the summertime it does come off I thought what better way to help the ladies out there as well as help myself then teach you guys how to make a wig, a longer lasting wig, a wig that's gonna last for a long, long time. Um, and it won't fall off, it won't, um, it won't melt while you're in the shower or while you're in, let's say at the club or at a party or whatever, and you're dancing, getting sweaty, whatever you have to do, your wig is gonna stay on. And here I have laid out everything that um, I need to make this wig. My mannequin's name is Zoe. Zoe's gonna be my special assistant today. Please don't get offended if your name is Zoe. I mean no harm, seriously. I went through a bunch of names before I even um, reached the name Zoe for her. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, you're gonna need your hair. I personally, I will be using um, long hair. This is, this is, uh, Premium 2, the Premium 2 pack. I have two bags of 18, and then one bag of 16, and then I have a bag of Milky Way left over that um, I used a long, long time ago. I haven't used store-bought hair in a long, long time. This hair that I have in my hair right now is, um, it's R. Juni, and I've been using it for a while, and I'm very happy with it. But I would like to give my hair some rest, you know, um, take it out, wash it. That's the mean, that's the reason why I'm making this wig today. Um, the next thing that we need is um, a cap, a spandex cap, um, a wave cap. Uh, swimming cap as long as it's a thick material the stocking caps will not work because they're too thin and you are prone to poke a hole in it along the line next thing you'll need are these small little clips I prefer the small clips if you can see that I prefer the small clips because I feel the small clips um, they hide better it, it you it get a more natural feel because my hair is not going to be Diana Ross, you know, I'm keeping it. I'm still going to have volume, but I, I want it to look as natural as possible. So I'm using these small clips. You can get these from the beauty supply store like I did. These come in two, two in a pack, and you're going to need four of them. I got four. Next, you'll need needle and thread, like I have mine right here. The next thing that you will need, and this is the key ingredient to keeping our hair long and lasting, is a glue gun. Mine is called AdTech. I got this from Walmart. You can also get the same one. There are different types, but I recommend getting the high heat. High heat will last longer, and um, I just feel like it's better. Um, I have the two temp. If I'm using this around the house, I can always put it down to the low temp. If I'm using this for wood, anything that's a hard surface, I can. I'm sorry. I can um, put it to the high temp. Today we'll be putting our glue gun on high temp, and I also have one that is cordless. Um, I. I mean, getting cordless, I'm not recommending it because it only lasts for five minutes and then you have to charge it back up. So cordless or non-cordless um, doesn't really matter. You choose whatever your pocket allows. Then you will need, depending on what size um, glue gun you get, you will need glue sticks. Now I got this in multi-temp, just like my glue gun is a multi-temp, if you can see that. Just like my glue gun is a multi-temp um, glue gun, I would need a multi-temp uh, glue stick. You can also use a high temp, if you get, if you get a high temp, I'm sorry, if you get the 
multi-temp glue gun, you can use either a, a low temp glue, glue stick or a high temp glue stick. It does not matter. But for this project, we will be needing high temperature. Also, the next things that you will need is a paddle brush to brush it out at the end, a little rat tail comb, shears, scissors, um, fabric scissors, whatever you use, a razor. My point is you need some scissors. And then we'll be needing, um, I, you don't necessarily have to have this brand. I have the Soft Sheen Carson Dark and Lovely Healthy Gloss Moisturizing Leave-In Treatment. I like to put this in my hair to moisturize it, as well as to give it some, some body, some life, you know? Next thing that you will need, I have gone ahead and made my own concoction. This is apple cider vinegar and water. Um, as you can tell, I put it in a spray bottle because I don't spray my hair every day, but I do like to keep my hair moist and I, I feel like this just gives it so much volume and it keeps your hair in the natural state. I spray it maybe every other day. Now that we have the products that you need out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this video is, we're gonna constant, I'm going to concentrate on showing you how to apply the adhesive. We're not going to do any styling today. I can do that video um, later on if you guys are interested in watching it. But today we're just gonna be doing the wig installation. If you would like a more in-depth explanation of how I cut my hair, um, and how I trim it or how I frame it around my face because I love doing that. I haven't done that with this one because I don't really want to cut it. But with this hair, this hair right here, I don't mind cutting it. And plus that's why I have the um, 10 inch in the Milky Way. So let's get started, right? Also, I wanted to say that the reason why I got the clear, the clear glue sticks were because I don't want any residue to be seen through the hair. These dry clear so you can't really tell. You're going to align your hair right at the nape of your cap, like so. Measure. Now if you have a cap that has the lining on it, you can measure from seam to seam. That usually ends up being the right part where you should cut. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add the glue to your cap, not to your weave. You're going to add it to your cap, go all the way around, and be quickly because this is glue gun and it will dry pretty fast. It does get very messy. But if, you, um, if you've ever made a wig with um, the hair glue, then you know it's going to get messy regardless. But the great thing about it is, this one, you just ball up and it's all gone. It's just rubber. That's all it is. You don't gulp it on there. You put a nice helping of it, but you do not add too much. And when I say too much, I mean, um, don't just add like big blobs everywhere because it will get chunky. This glue dries thick because like I said, it's rubber, so it'll show. This is our first line. Bring it in a little bit for you. You can see that. I put it all the way at the bottom because I have three bags, three and a half actually. Um, so I'm not scared of 
it being scarce but you do not really need three and a half bags I would technically I would recommend a bag and a half or two bags at the most but I'm gonna go for the more fuller look I may not use all the bags um, but we'll see at the end right <laughs> get to this part depending on if you have a middle part like I'm going to have or if you're gonna have a side part or if you are going to flare your hair out this is where it gets kind of tricky you're going to place the hair like such like this and then you're gonna go up up up, 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 up. And that'll cover up all of your tracks so that nobody can see them. You do that on both sides till you get up to the top. If you still have extra hair, you can go ahead and continue this till you get about right here. I went ahead and shifted the cap down so I can show you guys better so I'm gonna go back up to the cap well I'll show you one and then I'll go back to the way the cap is supposed to be still have an open line right here where I can slit it and then I'll put it on I want to close it as much as I can to make it look more full getting dark what I'm gonna do now is cut it in between the middle where I left my part so our next step is to go ahead and take your wig clips these are the ones that I got can you see it We're going to sew them all around well since we only have each pack that I got has two little small ones and I got four packs so I'm going to sew two right here two small ones right here two small ones here and then two more here two more there okay so I have gone ahead and sewn the first clip and I want to show you guys how we should sew it positioning if you can see the tooth maybe you can't see that I'm sorry my zoom and my focusing um, are kind of off tonight well my point is the tooth should be facing out you should sew it like this so once you put it on it clips in you see what I mean it clips in so that's the way you're gonna do it I'm going to finish sewing the clips in and then I'll come back and show you guys 
um, what they all look like sewn on. So once you are done making your wig, go right ahead your apple cider vinegar and your mixture of water and spray it down. Make sure you get it all in there. And then take your take your moisturizer or your conditioner or whatever you like to put in your hair to soften it. I'm going to go ahead and use Dark and Lovely. And I'm just going to spray it all over and I'm going to let my wig sit overnight before I do anything to it. I want the apple cider vinegar and water and the moisturizer mixture to sit in it and give it that awesome, awesome feeling once it's sat for a couple hours. Since it's nighttime, it's going to sit overnight. If it was during the day, I would probably let it sit for maybe two and a half to four hours before doing anything to it. I don't recommend um, adding heat products to it while it's still wet. Like, just let, let your hair air dry. You're in no rush. Beauty is pain, beauty is time. <laughs> so, once you are done doing that, you are practically done. And I mean, if you want to go ahead and roller set it yourself overnight, that's up to you. Unless you are trying to add heat to it, then I would definitely recommend letting it sit for a while. But yeah. Look at Zoe, doesn't she look so pretty? I will be rocking this bad boy. I want to show you guys how long it is. So, yeah. And you can already tell the reason why I used um, 12 inches in the front was so I, it would be much easier for me to frame it when I cut it. And you can tell it's kind of already framed. I may not even have to frame it if I don't want to, you know? If you have any issues or any more questions, feel free to message me or write a comment below. And I would love to see your creations once you're done with it. Um, upload a picture, email me a picture, you know, just let me see it. I want to see your artwork. So thank you guys for being with me this week on this episode. I look forward to seeing you guys back here next week for the next Friday's episode. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.